This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. All right, Wolfmeister, you uh, are you a pickleball guy? I am not. I am not. Um, I heard the. Oh. Oh. There we yeah. go. He's yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm not a pickleball player. I play golf. I uh, occasionally play basketball. Um, I used to play some flag football on the weekend, uh, but not anymore. But no pickleball. I feel like maybe double my age, I'll get there. I heard it's uh, older. Right. We're older not old. Folk. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. But apparently old people are falling apart all over the place on pickleball now. I see. That's a... It's it's a it's a it's a it's a dual edged sword, right? Because as you're older, you're supposed to stay, stay move to stay fit, right? right? But if you move too much, you get hurt, and so you got to find that balance. That's why I think golf is the right balance for old folks. You know, you don't have to you move, but you're you're not you're not like doing a lot of like change of motion and, and drastically quick you know, ways like you may do in pickleball or, or tennis or basketball. And by the way, that's what I was going to tell you right now. Okay, so when you play tennis, it's a longer court. It's a longer hit. You probably have a little more time to react. Again, I haven't played pickleball, so I got to go from a little ignorance. But in pickleball, it sounds like, you know, you're like in a smaller ping pong table on the tennis court. So you got to react faster, actually. So if you're older and you got to move quicker... Isn't it better for you to play tennis because that gives you time to read, react, and and kind of get to the ball? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, here's the argument against that. If okay. they don't, you have to move more for tennis, and so if yeah. it's harder for you to move. Yes, that is true. Then it's, it's a lot of times it's easier for you to be standing still or only taking a step and right. reacting versus running all over the place. A lot of older folks not going to have the endurance or the energy to right. be moving from side to side of the court. Right. That's that's the other argument there. Whereas why why I would say golf is because golf you play in your own pace. Like you can really slow down your swing. You're playing by yourself or with some other folks, and they move up the tees for you. You can play at the senior tees where it yeah. shortens the course, so you don't have to feel like you have to hit it as hard. So to me, yeah. that's the perfect old man's game, and I just start happen to play it when I'm thirty. I agree. <laughs> I not no I agree I I agree with you I I haven't even tried pickleball yet Have you tried it? No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't know. Is it is it similar to um, what do you call it? Um, uh, racquetball and what and what's the other game that people play inside a gym? It's, I thought it was like ping pong. So I don't know. Is it, so there's a, there's another game that people play inside a gym that is like a squash. Is it similar to oh. racquetball or squash? Oh, I I, I don't know, bro. I, I have to okay. plead ignorance here. I don't. I've never played pickleball, but it seems like it's a ping pong table on a tennis court. It's just a small. Yeah. That's what it seems like. I don't so know. It's Maybe close, so it's probably closer to tennis than than yeah. uh, squash or yes. or something yeah. of that sort. Okay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Gotcha. Uh, and and uh, Drago says that's why they play doubles. Well, then you're, yeah, you're really not you moving. More people, right? You don't have to move. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Much so you're just like dot, 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 the you still have time. to move. You still have to move because the ball's quick going twitch. everywhere. But you know, yeah, yeah, it's like still there's there's some quick twitching. So I can imagine. You know, can you imagine Biden trying to play pickleball? I mean, the guy can't stand or walk. I mean, he would it, like his limbs would fly off or something. That would be, that would not be pretty. That's all I can tell you. Um, what do you what? How would you feel right now if you're Victor Wembayama when your security guard smacked uh, Britney Spears? What do you think about wow. that, bro? What a story that was. I did not expect that to read that yesterday. That um, poor kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not that's, – I think that was his first, his first interview in Summer League. And, like, your first, like, game playing in the, in the NBA, even if it's not a regular game, you're being asked about your security hitting Britney Spears. Well, I'm not entirely sure he knows – who Britney Spears is, the guy who grew up in France. Like, I think he, he knows that she is famous and she probably that she's a singer, but like, he probably doesn't realize that, yeah. you know, yeah. who it is. And so all of this is getting thrown at him. First of all, I don't even know why the Spurs, like, I, I guess it helps the media there, but why do the Spurs even let him talk in this situation that he doesn't know oh, much oh, about? Oh, 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 oh. Cam, if you've been to uh, the summer league, th there's no hiding. You're out in the yeah. open. It's just, it's just. I've one not of, been. I'm about to say I've it, not it, been. To, but I'm sure there's PR there, it's right? Like 
It's like the Senior Bowl, bro. It's the same shit that you got. You you have no choice. You have to wait, walk wait, around. Here, town, you have here's, to go what, here, you have, here's what I fear. No one, here's what I fear knowing of how America is. There's going to be some sort of lawsuit coming. And that, oh, that, by the way, that's... No, no. She already went to the cops. She already went to the right. cops. Right. Yeah. And so maybe that's not directly him. Maybe it's the security people, but it's his team. Yeah. And then that right. becomes a longer situation and they start to, you know, use certain things. It becomes a stickier situation than it should be just because of, you know, we're not a society, unfortunately, where we're just like, oh, it's all good. That was a mistake. Keep it. Pushing. By the way, the security you know? guard went back to, to Brittany to apologize. Yeah. After it happened, yeah. he went back to Brittany and he apologized. They were I like, all right. But then she then she still went to the cops and she filed a report. And they could be filing an assault charge on on the security guard. The security guard is from the Spurs. That is gotcha. the Spurs security guard that actually did that. And he's got to, you know, he's got to treat the situation a little better than that. If you're in the Vegas Summer League, dude, and you're walking around, you better expect people to walk up to you because right. it's kind of like the Senior Bowl. I keep telling basketball fans or or football fans. I've been telling football fans for over twenty years. Dude, go to the Senior Bowl. You'll meet some of these young guys in a bunch of these events before they become stars. And later on, you're going to love that. You know, if you want to go with your kid, same thing. If you're a basketball fan, I suggest you go to the NBA Summer League because it's two gyms that are, are, are next to each other. And all the famous people in the NBA are just walking around. They're sitting in the stands right literally next to you watching the game. Like, you could right. have the biggest NBA executive. Like, Steve Kerr could be sitting right next to you watching the game. Alonzo Mourning could be right next to you watching the game. That's that's how cool it is in the summer league. And you've been to the Senior Bowl, I know. So you know how yep. the guys walk around and all that kind of stuff, and you can end up running into coaches or or these kids before they become stars. and that kind of, So that guy from the Spurs has to have a little bit more awareness of People approach, you know, try to keep them a distance, but not a smack right away. And look at who's coming up to you. You know what I mean? The weird part is that Britney Spears knew who Wembayama was, and she wanted a picture with him. Yeah. Like, I would never figure that she would know who Wembayama is. You know? Right, right. Well, he is 7'5", and uh, I'm sure everybody knows a dude that tall. And he's also been hyped up as the – the best player to come out in the draft is LeBron. And so I think she probably is just like us have seen him talked about on TV and like recognized him rather than like actually knows, you know, his game or anything of that sort. Probably very vaguely. Oh, that's a tall guy. They were talking about <laughs> for a while on TV, you know, and by the funny a, part, a husband who probably watches ESPN or, or wherever they were, doing a draft and so she probably was at home while they were watching and saw the bit oh that dog that dude is tall and right. then she sees him in the street oh that's a tall guy i'm guessing that is probably her her knowledge of of, of women yama yeah I, I just i mean it's and by the way she was she was screaming when she got smacked this is america and she was saying it in a british accent apparently okay. apparently britney now speaks british so she's into that madonna phase when Madonna was married with the uh, guy Richie, yeah. and she all of a sudden started talking the Queen's English, and we're like, "Yo, dude, Madonna, you're Italian, you're an American. What, what are you doing? Like, get out of here, you know?" All this. So, so apparently, that's the funny part. Not only does she get smacked, she's screaming in 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 the Queen's English about getting smacked. That's 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 a classic scene right there, bro. That is wow. too much. Wow. Right. Wow. So uh, Dalvin Cook's agent sending out cryptic tweets. Obviously, he was in town to finish off Cam Smith's contract, I would imagine. That's what he was here for. Yep. Um, when, I, I think it's the inevitable. I, I know what they're doing. They're holding out for somebody to give him the money and the carries. That ain't going to happen. So when do you think he ends up signing? Is it like right a couple days I before training? Camp. I think yeah, I think training camp, the week of training camp is probably the date to circle. I've told you guys this deadline is typically spur action. He could certainly wait until training, wait into training camp. But nah, typically that's usually the mark, which is right now set for the last week of July. I think most teams open up um, the, the 20-something, the 
25th, 26th, 27th, something in that range. And so that's probably, what, about two and a half weeks from now? So I'd say sometime in the next two two weeks we uh, we see a Dalvin Cook signing. And right now it's, I don't know what every team is offering, but it's him looking at his offers and saying, okay, well, do I want to go to my preferred place, which we all seem to think is Miami, um, or do I want to go to the highest offer if that's not the same? You know, if Miami doesn't have the highest offer, are you willing to take a little bit less to come there? Regardless of what the offers are, he isn't getting what he thought. He thought he was going to be a $10 plus million dollar player. He's, he's not getting that. And so he's going to have to settle for whatever the number is. So do you settle for the highest number or do you settle for the Dolphins number? And do you get can you get the Dolphins to come up a little bit? I think those are the questions that will be answered between the next, you know, 15, 16, 17 days. And I do think Dalvin Cook will sign for training camp. Oh, by the way, we talked about this earlier in the week, and I just want to kind of spin for you on the whole Damian Lillard thing. Like, they don't owe him anything, and yet somehow, you know, some people think that you should accommodate him in a way and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we watched it in college football where coaches would abuse it. They would bury programs. They could leave. Players were stuck there. Now players can dictate where they want to go. And if the program sucks or they're not taking care of them, then they could go somewhere where they know how to coach them. They know how to prepare them. They know how to get an NIL deal. So what's the difference with Damian Lillard and saying, dude, I don't want to be Donovan Mitchell. I was in Utah and then now you traded me to Cleveland. No, bro. I want to go where I want to go because I want a chance at winning. So I want to dictate where I want to go as an employee. How do you not root for that? Yeah, I don't have any problem with what Dame's doing. I think that he absolutely uh, should ask out. I think that he's fine to ask out where he's asking out. The only issue I have is I don't think there's an obligation for Portland to give him what he wants. Dame can ask for whatever he wants. He can demand it. His agent's going about telling people that he's going to pout. He's not going to show up. He's not going to do all this. Cool. Do whatever you need to do. If I'm another team, I'm calling your bluff. I'm not thinking that you're going to give up four years, four years, three hundred million to sit out. Like maybe I am wrong. If I'm wrong, I am willing to take that bet. But I am thinking that you got a a seven-two under there, and you are just hoping, hoping to make everybody else fold so that you can win the pop. And right now, um, we're going to see if if the the Blazers fold. But my whole issue with the thing was that. By the way, what you're the scenario you're talking about? Never happens. Yeah. Yeah. Think about yep. that. Right. Never happens. Yep. LeBron goes where he wants. Right. Shaq goes where he wants. Uh, everybody goes where they want. Harden will go where he wants. And right. All- but but, but the thing about the guys you mentioned, they had the threat. They had the threat of free agency. The guys you mentioned had the threat of free agency. Because all the guys you mentioned were, were entering the final year of their contract, and they said, I'm going to leave into free agency. And those teams traded them to get value before them leaving. Dame and has were, four years left in his contract. And they, and they were younger. And they were younger. And they were younger. So this Dame has four years, four years left on his contract. Yeah, yeah. 33. He's there still a really good player. Teams. He's still Miami, a really good player at 33. Teams. But, it's Boston, Philly, Miami, and Brooklyn because they are big money teams. Outside of that, there aren't a lot of teams that are going to pay Correct. nearly three hundred million dollars because Correct. once you this two sixteen, it's taking you over probably both aprons. Absolutely. So you're going to pay a ridiculous tax on that two sixteen, and yep. it's probably going to go to two seventy three hundred. So nobody's trading for a guy that doesn't want to be with you for three hundred million dollars. So, I don't know if that's absolutely true. I would say that. You have to be confident that your team is ready to win a championship, and you have to be willing to make that bet. Cause like, like, the, like the Raptors did with Kawhi. Now, he only had one year left on his deal, but remember Kawhi was coming off all those injuries, and everybody yeah. wasn't sure if he was going to be the same player, and the Spurs dumped him. He did not want to go to, to Toronto. No, he, he specifically no. said, I want to go to L.A. He did something similar to Dane. He's a lot quieter, but he had his agent do the talking and say, get me to L.A. doesn't matter if it's the Lakers or the Clippers. Get me to L.A. And the Spurs sent him to Toronto. And he ended up going there. He ended up winning a the title, played as normal. And then yeah, he left and got to L.A. 
Hey, but that's LA. <laughs> right. Let, but he was a but he was a free agent after the year. So he eventually got what he wanted, but he ended up Toronto made a bet that we can trade for him and he will play for us and we will be better for it. And they were right. And I bet you Toronto well, would still do that trade. Was, that's only because it was an expiring contract. So he knew yeah. that he was gonna go to LA right after that. So he you know, he sucked it up and and he and he took the deal. This is different, dude. He's gonna turn thirty three. There's four years left. I just don't see a lot of people. It, it just it never happens. It just right. didn't happen. But people, I would say that the difference is like you talk, you mentioned like Kev, you mentioned like Kevin Durant, right? Kevin Durant's been the big, the last big, big max trade, and the Blazers aren't going to get anything near the Kevin Durant pile. No. But Kevin Durant wanted to go to I think he mentioned two or three, three different teams, right. um, but one of them was the Suns, and yes. he eventually got to the Suns mostly because of the big package they gave him. I don't think anybody would say – I think this deal would be done if the Heat had a package that was, you know, the, that was worthy of the Dame deal. It would already be done because Dame wants to be there. Portland but wants dude, to move, move on for her. Right. You're not looking at it right. The Heat doesn't want to give their best deal because they don't have to. But, I mean, what is their best deal? Their best deal is, is, is a bunch of picks, a bunch of young, unproven players like Jovic – and and Hakovic, Ho- I'm probably butchering. Ty- his name. Oh well, they don't uh, want Tyler, but that would have been yeah. One of the Tyler, guys. they they don't want Tyler, so you have to figure out a way to trade him for picks. And apparently, they don't want to put Caleb Martin in the deal. But Caleb Martin, it's not a not a huge needle mover. I'm guessing for for uh, for for Good. Portland too. So there's Good. not a lot. lot there's, there. a why, there's a reason why those clowns never win anything. So yeah. it's all right. They, I would, they don't want, I would want Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin's a good player. Caleb Martin's want, a really good player. I would want Caleb Martin. If I, I, yeah. I don't want I don't want to lose Caleb Martin in this deal at all. I mean, you're gonna to have to give up whatever you have to give up for Damian Lillard, and I get it. But dude, I want Caleb Martin badly because yeah. Jimmy's missed time and he can play the Jimmy role, and Damian Lillard will help him in that yeah. process to look yeah. really Especially good. Especially you already lost Drew, so you already lost Vincent. You need those role players. The yes. playoffs showed how important role players are. The best uh, one of all yeah. players, anyways. He's yeah. the only yeah. guy that I give that has a shot to really like take that next step to maybe be a little bit of a star there on the team. Yeah. I think he's the one guy that has it. Not that he is, but he's the one guy. I love Caleb Martin, bro. Uh, I think he's he's got it, man. All right. So, uh, what are you working on NFL Network? If you're working on anything this weekend, I doubt it. Yeah, right? I'll, I will be. Uh, I'll be on Total Access tonight. So uh, I'll be nice. on Total Access. We're going to be talking some uh, AFC East. I'm going to be talking some AFC East quarterbacks. We're going to have a little fun segment about all the AFC quarterbacks. So you guys tune in from that between seven and eight on NFL Network. And so uh, we'll do that. That'll be my today. And then next week, um, I haven't announced this yet, but I'll give it to you guys. The Big O Show. I'll be up in New York hosting Good Morning Football all week. Um, so nice. that'll be my uh, my week next week. So I leave out Sunday, and I'll be hosting that show. And uh, just my guests, uh, we'll be talking some Dolphins at some point uh, throughout the show throughout the week. And so you'll definitely tune in if you guys are, are for work or around from seven to ten uh, Eastern Time. And Good Morning Football. You're, p- you're picking the Dolphins to win the AFC East tonight on 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 NFL Network, so we're, right? So we're not picking division. We're talking about the quarterbacks and which quarterback has the most pressure on them. All right, but in passing, you're going to mention that Tua will lead them to the division title, right? That's what you're going to. You're I think that, I think that he has a real chance. I, I, I have to see it to believe it. Real chance. Get out of here. I got to see it to believe it. I'm not a homer. I'm not a homer. Oh. The bills of the bills have been the chance of this division. They got to got to beat the chance to beat the champ. You you saw what happened this past year. They they they're right there, bro. They, they are right, right there, but it's difference between being right there and being they over. Won all three. They will win all, all. Well, they'll win two because I don't know if they'll even be good enough to meet them in the playoffs. But we'll see. You know, we'll we'll yeah. see if the Bills are good enough to meet them in the playoffs. You know, right. but they'll beat them twice this year in the regular season. You you sh- mark my words. Hey, they, they they beat them. They beat them once last year, and they they almost got them in the playoffs. So they're there. Like I said, they're right there. there. If McDaniel yeah. sticks to the damn running game, they beat them on that on that uh, second time. To, on that, no, it was yeah, it's the second game. Yeah. Well, hey, that's plus, a good oh, argument, oh, but but that, that but, game and that game, Tyreek and Craycraft dropped touchdowns. 
Uh, Braylon Sanders, like, did some stupid-ass move when he was supposed to take off and Tua threw a, a perfect ball that would have been a damn touchdown. That was a, that, that game, bro. That game was there to be had, man. It was. Jeez. It was, but they didn't get it. And there's an old saying, if it was a fifth. I know. I would be, <laughs> and so, know. you know, we, we got to see it. We got to see it. Close and hand grenades and horseshoes, right? Yeah, I get right. it. I get it. Right. I get it. <laughs> But this year won't be close. This year, they're going to get it done. Mark my words. Yeah, okay. If it is, then it'll be a fun year. Okay. All right. Follow him on Twitter at Cameron Wolf. Catch him live tonight on the NFL Network and then all next week on Good Morning Football. Cam, have a great weekend, my friend. I appreciate you as always. All right. You too. All right. Thank you, you, sir. There you go. Cameron Wolf, baby. Yes, sir. With our KSDT CPA sports, oh, I'm sorry, Miami Dolphins report. And KSDT, of course, they do it all, folks. So if you're looking for your personal taxes, business taxes, maybe you didn't file, maybe you need an extension. I'm sorry, there it is. Use the QR code that's right there. That QR code right there, put your phone, put it on photo, look at that QR code, hit the link. That'll get you to KSDT CPAs. You can do it all by phone. If you have to file your taxes, maybe for your business, they can help you in so many ways. Tax, advisory, assurance, accounting, you name it, payroll, sales. Uh, they do it all, folks. That's why I'm telling you, when, when you talk about you know KSDT CPA, they are a top 200 firm, tax firm, and an accounting firm by Forbes magazine in this country, expanding offices in Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. Plus, we're opening up an office in North Carolina and expanding to other places and growing and growing by day. I'm telling you, folks, 305-670-3370. Call the main number there. They will guide you to whatever you want to do. If you're a crypto person and you need to file your taxes and you also a crypto investor, not all the accounting accountants or accounting firms know about crypto. Well, they've got a crypto department at KSDT CPAs. They are well way ahead of the curve so they can help you in every way possible from payroll to planning to retirement to you name it to to your will, everything. KSDT CPAs can help set you up business and personal. KSDTCPA.com. This is the Big O Show. This is the